How's it going? I am Dallas Braden, A's TV analyst. They say nobody's perfect, but but I was on Mother's Day back in 2010. You are watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. Um, it seemed like JP was from the jump uh, pretty locked in out there. What do you think of his outing? Today? I thought that was probably his best outing of the year. Um, Changeup was awesome. He used it most of the night when he needed to make big pitches and. You know, that's that's JP. He he's got some momentum and and really built some confidence throughout the game. And it was really nice to watch him work for seven innings. Um, we, I mean, it seemed like everybody asked you about Rooker and the month that he's had. Uh, yeah, homers again today. Um, I know he mentioned before the game just kind of being happy not to be traded. Mm -hmm. um, just what do you think of the month that he's put together and, and having him as part of this group going forward as well? No, it's it's great to have him uh, with this group and really becoming emerging as a as a you know middle of the order bat that that uh, you know most people now will will recognize his name and and you know his abilities. So it's been a long road for him. It, it just brings back memories sitting in this office last year uh, and and making him the 26th man on a roster uh, and and now seeing him uh, flourish and and really make a name for himself in this game right now, uh, establishing himself as a middle of the order bat that, that needs to be feared. On a night where Rooker homers, there's four homers total, JP Sears has a night like tonight, you know, especially after you, know, you talked about what this team can do on board, does this kind of provide you know, a sense of either validation or a blueprint as to what you guys are building here? Uh, I think you're just seeing the start of it, and, and that's nice. You know, I don't want to say they're validating themselves. They, they We still have a long season to play. And, uh, a long way to go to, to you know continue to play good baseball, continue to swing the bats the way we're swinging. But as I said, you know pregame this, this group's starting to believe in themselves, and and uh, and that's powerful when that happens. We saw a group in 17 at the end of the season start to believe in themselves and come together. So um, you know it's really nice just to see them all having fun and uh, and enjoying the success of of, uh, of their hard work. For Des Cameron, it seems like every time he gets an opportunity, he kind of takes advantage of it. What have you seen from his at-bats? Well, Des done a nice job against left-handed pitching, um, you know, and we've got a really nice platoon right now. I feel um, it's very similar to what, what we've had here in the past with guys, and uh, he's definitely contributing when he gets his opportunities. Could you talk about your display of power? It's nothing uncommon because that's what you have been doing. Four home runs today. That, yeah, this is a this isn't. I don't think I don't know how this park's playing this year, but in in the past it hasn't played, you know, small by any means. The ball that Butler hit tonight that got out to the right center gap, you could see by the way he took off, he wasn't sure if that was going to be a home run, um, because we've told him like you hit it out to the Bonds corner, you might not get a homer. So, um, you know, the group, the power has been there. Uh, there's been you know less swing and miss over the last month and. Um, just a, a, a good emphasis on the, the two-strike approach as well. So we're getting some base runners on, and then we're capitalizing by, by hitting home runs. All good. Thanks, Kyle. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. Hi, fans. A's broadcaster Ken Korak for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.